Hi there. Have you ever wondered why some particular um, themes, colors, and um, and other props and all are usually associated with particular symbolisms, with particular meanings? Well, symbolic codes are codes in cinema that um, generally may not reflect the meaning associated with it on film. For instance, colors. When you see red color, everybody generally universally is accepted that um, it connotes danger when it's used persistently. Um, on the other hand, with regards to cinematography, when you see a persistent um, overhead shot, uh, high angle shot on a particular subject, then it kind of gives a signal that probably there's danger looking ahead for that particular character, you know. Um, considering the film Adire by Adioluwa, who uh, a very um, heavily layered um, drama about a particular prostitute who happens to settle in an old um, neighborhood in or you're try, trying to start life afresh and all and all. Um, there are some particular layers, some particular symbolic codes that are in the film. One of the codes is well, early on in the film after she relocates to a new town and then she goes to a bar um, to show, show who her personality is and how she is perceived. She decides to smoke a cigarette. Apart from the fact that she's currently dressed and then she smokes a cigarette and in um, Yoruba society generally in Nigeria, um, a, a woman who smokes or dresses the way she's dressed in the film is seen as innocent um, using the, the uh, contemporary term we call them baddies. So it's clearly written on my forehead. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> if I get I have smoky cigarette. If you know, you know. What the man, what the Togi was saying in the film, in the particular scene, was that we associate generally in African society, in Nigerian society, in Yoruba society, um, smoking is as women smoking or dressing intently. Those two are actually associated with um, prostitution. Okay. That's one so that it shows gives an idea of how Adira is perceived, especially in a new uh, neighborhood. And then later on, we get to meet um, Toby's wife, Chalewa, and Adire when they have a confrontation. And um, the costumes give us a symbolic code as to the two personalities. Um, while Adire is unsurprisingly dressed and clad in lingerie, as revealing, um, Shalewa is dressed to the tilt like um, a typical um, religious sister. That particular scene, the costumes give us as symbolizing the difference in their personalities. And then um, later on, by the time Adirai finally makes her first appearance in the church, um, she's wearing white, while every person is wearing black because they are actually mourning. It's at a funeral, but I think she, on her way she just came around wearing white. So. She's easily singled out like she's, she's like fish out of water in that scene. She doesn't belong in that particular sect. She feels like an outcast in that particular scene. That was followed, that was followed by the um, pastor's wife, the Dikine Shadi, who covers her, her, her tie with um, a scarf. That scarf symbolizes doctrine, religious doctrine, because later on, um, when they have a later confrontation, um, Hadire removes the scarf to reveal a cleavage showing that she's defiant this time around she will not bow to doctrine but she rather bow to humanity and compassion towards the end of the film all the characters with gray areas have to reach a compromise um, admit they are wrong and try to find the dividing line or the meeting point between what is good what is right and also humanity so those symbolic codes in the film uh, actually helped uh, the viewer to actually understand the film better and to understand the um, various um, themes and conventions that are um, unique to each society.